What's up guys? I just wanted to do a real quick uh, unboxing slash first impressions review of the Accelavello Mag X Trainer. It's the one I found on Amazon that could uh, fit 29 inch t uh, mountain bike tires. So since I have a 2.9er, I had to get this one. It was basically the only choice unless I went up in like $300 on the price match. So I'll put a link to it down in the description down below. So if you want to go see where it is, you can find it there. First impressions of the box is that UPS doesn't care. Doesn't look like it damaged anything, so should be all right. Right on the top, got a nice little warranty registration card. 60 day, two month warranty. So that's useful. If I really don't like it in this review, then I can either return it to Amazon or go get something fixed. So. Whoa, that's heavy. So far, feels more sturdy than I was expecting. Simple enough packaging. Nothing obnoxious. Got a loose part rolling around in the bag. Let's see where that goes. So uh, that pops out really easily. Might have to use some glue or something to keep that in place. Looks like it comes with one spindle and a trainer block for the front. And I'm assuming this is properly measured for the right height for a 29 inch bike, but we'll see if I need to buy another one or not. Now the instructions do only say suitable for 26 to 28 inch bike. So that's interesting. It said 29 online. Hopefully we aren't disappointed here in a second. And instructions are unfold, put it together, and you're done. If required, replace the quick release skewer on the rear wheel of your bike with the skewer D included with the trainer. Aha, I do have a skewer. Now they look almost identical, it would probably just work, but I'll try theirs. Alright. So we've got the quick release clamp on this side. This side, as I was talking about before, has these two adjustments. So one holds the bike in place, this one locks that. And then on the bottom here, this just lays on top of the bolt that we have here. As we'll tighten it down, the uh, the resistance will come closer to the tire, hold it tighter. So, okay, set the bike in here. Okay, so first one we're gonna do is this side, and basically we just want to make sure that the tire ends up lined up with the resistance. Now this side will clamp on like that. So I did it first without adjusting anything and you can see down here we're almost centered. Uh, could stand to go to the right just a little bit. Um, it would probably work right here but I just want to do this as best as I can and it'll make things a little bit tighter and more snug so let's move it over to the right just a little bit. Open that up a little bit, loosen this up a little bit, there we go, that looks pretty good. I just want this to be just kind of giving enough force on the tire to keep the friction, so let's tighten this, okay, oh man, oh that's noisy already, this is going to be This is going to be a noisy one. That is painful. <laughs> Might need to do some modification to uh, find a way to quiet that down if possible, but we'll see. I think that's all there is to it. So let's put the, uh, let's put this front thing under the front tire. 
And that just lets us keep a more natural riding position. Feels pretty sturdy, so that's good. First on the left and sixth on the right. So I'm afraid this noise might be damaged or something. Maybe something's just rubbing with that bent or something. So I'm gonna take this apart real quick and uh, just take a look at things and see see what I can figure out is making all this racket. All right, so already this is a little unnerving. This whole thing, this whole magnetic resistance unit, like wobbles around, and slides in and out. Something's definitely not right here. All right, so let's take out the magnetic resistance first. The magnetic resistance unit inside of this thing is this ring that's supposed to have evenly spaced magnets all around it. This one came loose. The adhesive is not strong enough to hold that on. So that's not too reassuring. Um, starting to see maybe why this unit was a little bit cheaper than the other ones that fit the 29 inch tire. Now since this one said it only fits 27 inch tires on the instructions, I'm tempted to go try the other ones and see if I have to return them or not. All these are glued on. It's very pretty strong adhesive, it seems like, but apparently not strong enough to hold this guy on because it just came right off. So for now, I'll just respace that. We'll see, but I'm guessing that's what's causing all the noise. Something's still catching. Ah, I see. So that's where the, uh, the plastic going in and out. So I might need to epoxy the plastic all the way down. Now it spins free. I'll probably add some epoxy to this guy. I'll just tape it for now. Gotta keep that nice and tight so the magnet doesn't quite touch. Let's see what that gets us. Just lock back on. All right, so far so good. Let's get this screwed in place. I haven't fixed yet the uh, the problem with it rubbing the plastic wherever it was doing that. So I still wanna make sure this whole magnetic unit is pushed as far in as possible. And I'll glue that in place later. But let's try again and see. It's definitely not much of a flywheel in this thing. So that's, I guess, one thing that you get with the, uh, the more expensive models, it's a bigger flywheel. Let's give that a shot and see what this does. Definitely more quiet now. Still loud hum, but not grindy, scratchy, obnoxious. So let's just try this in a few different gears. So it feels very surgy. That's part of not having a flywheel, I suppose. It's like too easy and goes quick on whenever I have the downstroke of my leg. All right, let's go all the way up the top here. Three on the left, nine on the right. So definitely very loud. A lot of that is probably just my mountain bike tires. I'm guessing I could get uh, some smoother hybrid or road tires. Quiet that down quite a bit. I wish there were a little bit more resistance. I'm all the way on the top gear right now. I feel like it should be a little more difficult. Overall, very loud, but I think uh, I'll take care of that by changing out the tire or maybe just putting something over top of the tire to smooth it out. Um, so I can't make a final call on the, on the, uh, on the noise, but Seems like it should be good. If anybody else is experiencing any grinding or clicking or weird sounds, just open it up and take a look at those magnets because they, they do seem to be on a, a fairly cheap epoxy. Um, and so just take that up and either tape it or glue it or something like that. Um, we'll probably take care of some of that noise stuff. So I know I saw a lot of reviews that people were saying it's way too loud. You probably have very knobby mountain bike tires or um, something's wrong in that magnetic unit. So check those two things out and probably solve all your uh, noise problems. Um, I may want to get some, I don't know if I can get some weights or something to clip to these tires just to have more of a, a flywheel um, to smooth out the motion a little bit. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Uh, it's definitely very jerky movement, but this is my first trainer, so what do I know? I'll give it a try for a while and uh, see if I can get in better shape. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, so I actually just want to notice one more thing, and that is this does not technically fit 29 inch tires. I've been rolling on this thing just enough to test it out. Got some cleaning up to do.
So if you're gonna use this with 29 inch tires, I recommend getting something to put under all of these and therefore it's gonna lift up the whole thing. So you also want something under that. Aside from that, it does fit 29 inch tires, but it's going to hit the floor, especially if you have shaggy carpet.